You rejoin us here at ANZ Stadium for the second of our three massive games to come today. It is the Interest Super Championship. The winners of the Queensland Cup, the Burley Bears on screen there, up against the Illawarra Cutters, who took out their maiden title in the New South Wales Cup last week. A one-point win for this Illawarra team against the Mounties side which had dominated the competition to be minor premiers right throughout the season, but a 21-20 result for this Illawarra Cutters team, thanks to a field goal off the left boot of Drew Hutchison, saw them seal the premiership and go through to this game, which has become such a popular part of grand final day over the last two years. The Queensland teams have taken the honours on both occasions in which this match has been played. The Northern Pride defeated the Penrith Panthers in the first game of the uh, state championship back in 2014. That was a monumental upset that day, 32 points to 28. And last year, the entertaining Ipswich Jets, they really captured the rugby league public's imagination with a 26 to 12 victory over Newcastle. Jamal Fogarty, the man on screen there, the halfback for the Burley Bears side who won their first premiership in the Intra Super Queensland Cup last year since 2004 with a 26 to 16 victory over the Redcliffe Dolphins. Fogarty will be part of the Parramatta Eels set up from next year. So Eels fans will have a keen eye on this afternoon. And the man behind him, Cameron Cullen, was the Duncan Hall medal winner as player of the match in the Queensland Cup Grand Final last Sunday at Suncorp Stadium. He'll link up with the Manly Sea Eagles from next season. This is how Burley lines up. Curtis Rowe at the back scored two tries last week. They're an excellent centre pairing in Saluma and Broadhurst. And up front, they are a big pack led by Petaru and Page. And off the bench, four front rowers, Vi Vi Lynch, Benin and Alamai. He's the most experienced player for NRL games in this Intra Super Championship game, Josh McCrone, the captain of the Illawarra Cutters. Gee, it's good to see the old Illawarra jumper back out in the big time as well. There, a man that many think will carry the St George Illawarra team forward as their starting halfback from next year. This is how they line up. Quinlan, the man of the match in the grand final victory over Mounties at the back. A lot of NRL experience here, Kurt Mann, Fire Fi Law. They've got a test player in Havili at lock forward. Shannon Wakeman's played 100 games in the New South Wales Cup up front with Jacob Host and McCrone, the captain. Tyrone McCarthy goes to the bench with uh, Costa, Gallagher and Clune. Week against Mounties. You'd like a good start today. Oh, that didn't help Penrith, but in these conditions, the tiring chasing points. Yes. Going to hit that at pace. He's only a metre short. They look good. The cutters. Here's McCrone dancing away. Sends a signal for the number eight Wakeman to come inside, and Wakeman's going to get it down underneath the sticks. Shannon Wakeman, the front rower, gets the first try of the afternoon for Illawarra. He's yet to get a crack at NRL level. Nona with the conversion from right in front. It's the cutter six over the Burley Bears nil. A huge future ahead of this young man. Turn 20 on the line, Jacob Post. Hutchison runs, they all hung off. Hutchison, Nona, Nona backing up, another ankle tap. That's Swass that time. He's able to get the ball away to Sirenan. And Damien Sirinan bursts over to score the second for the Cutters. Well, it was Wakeman with the first try, and his front row mate's got the second. Yeah, Hutchison's change of speed. Had the ball in two hands. Looked like he wanted to kick. Showed the dummy, known as support, like a good 5'8". And plenty of support come from behind him. Once again, straight through the middle of the Bears. Makes it 12-0. So both teams finished second in their respective competitions and both went on to beat the minor premiers in the grand final. Cutters over Mounties and, and Burley over Redcliffe. Halfback and captain for Burley. Out from McCrone to Hutchison, loops it away. Lovely ball, Tane Mill gets rid of Cullen. Gets rid of Wanahi, who grabbed a boot and halted his progress momentarily. They still kept it alive, though. They're still oh. going off. Brilliant stuff. 
Just when you thought the cutters had broken down, they kept it alive, and Quinlan's going to score this time. Yeah, great work here by the cutters, and it's good vision by Hutchison. He knew that Sammy Salima was going to get out of the line and put pressure. Watch this movement here. He sees him come out of his line, lobs it over the top, and gets a two-on-one. And Tane Mill just uses his size and his strength to stay alive. Gets an offload. The offload is so rewarding oh, in broken play. Isn't it great? And Quinlan, weighed up the situation. Outside to Firefire Law, then backs up on the inside for Firefire Law to give him the ball to score the third try of the afternoon. They've flown out of the box. The Illawarra Cutters. Nona makes it 18 points to nil. Yeah, through defence, getting out of the line and making a statement. Hutchison running again. He's been dynamic. Away to Harvili. He throws it on the foot. Hot ball there. Oh. It's alive. It's been forced by Jacob Host. But there's a fair bit to check here. It was like a... Of the Bears. That's all Bears, that. End up being a fight. And we have a grounding. We have a... Makes it inside the left-hand post. Lead by four converted tries. So Billy's a dummy half this time. Oh. Out through Costa. Nona with a kick to the end goal. They're going to score again. It's Chris Lewis. Oh, this is brilliant from the Illawarra Cutters. Oh, what about the... Looks long. <laughs> well, he has had a big long head as well, didn't he? Just everything was long about. Gets to within five of the halfway. He's Hutchison. Dynamic performance from him. Turns it to Tane Milne. One-handed offload, bounces back and favourably. McCrone tries to cut up the centre, he got up and went again, back to Kurt Mann, then back to Hutchison, right foot step, leaves Swass behind, he's got the line open, Hutchison, how good is that? What a game he's had, the number seven. This has been clinical. And Nona's kicking has been outstanding, not just goal kicking, but general kicking as well. Mal Fogarty there on the front rower. Havili was never going to be denied there. He gets a try. That's their seventh. It's 40-0. Yeah. Great tactics, great team performance. That makes a 42. Today they're on the, the biggest stage of the game. And She's made the best team win. All right, how important is it for our competition, the Melbourne Storm, to continue oh, to go well? Oh, what a catch. Sorry, Pete. Kurt Mann off the high kick has leapt and taken it cleanly and planted it down to make it 46 now. And a lot of offloads. But it's Sean, Sean Nona again. He's pinpoint accuracy with his kicking. And Oliver Regan, it gets very lonely back there. When you're waiting for the ball to come down, you can hear the footsteps coming through, and Kurt Mann scores a try here this afternoon. Well, we know we'll be talking about um, what the schedule looks like for next year, so it rolls around pretty quick. I don't think any NRL CEO has ever been um, put into the position where he's had to get... He's Burley put a play on around the ruck, and I think they scored. It's Alamai who's gone over, so at least they're on the board, the Bears. That's they're... always a relief to break the duck. And then at one stage, granted the grand finals at, at around 8 o'clock at night, which end up an awful long, long day. day, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a long day. Nice power. There's a the tactic you're talking about, Scotty, going back through the middle. Just too strong. Straight through the tackle of the fullback, Queenland. I want to ask you, I look at Luke Lewis as Fogarty successful with the kick. Luke. Couple short of the line. Milne waits a dummy half. What's the game, self Tane Milne? And may have got he there. That. He's excited, and that's why they brought up the half. Bears have given in, I think. They've had a couple of pushover tries from dummy half. You know it's a bad sign when that starts to happen. Uh, Chuck Lotto. <laughs> Mate, I, um, because the, with the Reds being a, uh... Meantime, Burley had broken up field. Curtis Ray supports. He's going to score a try. That'll be enough to see us out. Curtis Rose scores. 54-10. They'll have a kick to come, but it's all the cutters. And they become the first New South Wales team to win this match. Are they going to take? And they're going to give it to Luke Page, the front rower, who sends it over. So it's 54-12 in the end. It's taken three years for New South Wales to have any joy when it comes to the Intra Super Championship, but the Illawarra Cutters have done it in emphatic style, defeating 
the Burley Bears 54 points to 12. Wonderful performance.